Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. So we're going to be making wanted posters like this one. Um, I made up eight different characters and the crimes that they committed and everything. And this is a completely original design by me. You can download all eight of them in the description box below if you would like to put this together yourself. But if you don't want to go through all the trouble of, all, of doing this and following the tutorial, you can head over to Etsy and I am selling the set of eight that you're going to see in this video over on Etsy. I also have an editable file so you'd be able to change the image here. You're able to change the name and the crime that they committed. That editable template is also available on Etsy and it's also available on Patreon. So if you want to be able to edit these easily, then that's the way to go. This is going to be a really easy DIY. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to use that editable template. And then after that, we'll just do the quick DIY. If you're not going to use the editable file, you can just go ahead and skip to the next part on this video. And that's where I'm going to show you some tips on how to uh, do this DIY project easily. Check out the description box below for a list of all the supplies I use to make this DIY, as well as the free downloadable templates. And let's get started. If you have Photoshop, I'm going to assume that you know how to custom customize this because it's just swapping out images and changing text. If you don't have Photoshop, there is an alternative and it is free. If you open your browser and go to Photopia, Com. You can create an account or you can just use it for free. I don't know if you actually need an account or not. You can do this for free with all the features or if you want some extra stuff, you can pay $5 a month if you want. But here is what Photopia looks like. So we'll go to File and Open and you're going to want to open the Wanted Poster Editable.psd. It's going to look a little something like this. If you see these guidelines here, you can easily hide them by hitting Control H on Windows. You can also hit Control Plus on Windows to zoom in. But you are greeted with this Wizardry Workshop. Thank you for your purchase. Also, it's copyright 2023. This is my original design and it is not for commercial use. This is only for personal or educational use. You can't sell what you make. It's just for fun. So now here we have our layers panel. Each one of these on the right side panel is a layer. There's a little eyeball icon to the left of each layer and you can show and hide them. So the usage rights, you just click that little eye and it gets hidden. Inside our wanted poster, there is a layer folder called editable stuff. So if we expand that, you can see here's all the little things that we can edit in there. So here is where it says for grave robbing, gnome napping, and general banditry. There is a text layer that you can edit. Below that you see there's a photo folder and there's one layer that is named replace. If we hide that, you can see it's the picture of the criminal. The ones with the little locks beside, lock icons beside them here are not supposed to be uh, edited at all. There's also a layer here called your name, and that's where you put your name in. If we go to the left side, there's a whole bunch of tools, the type tool, and then also we're going to need to probably do the move tool, maybe uh, scaling an image once we put our image in there. But first, let's edit the text. So with the text tool selected, if you hover over the crimes that have been committed, you can see that your cursor changes to the uh, text editing cursor there. Otherwise, it's just an arrow pointer. And if we hover over the name, you can edit that text as well. If you click into this, it's going to change the text. As you see, it totally changed that to a different font completely. And that's because in Photopia, we don't have this specific font available. So if you click this little arrow right over here, you can have this little font drop down and there's a whole bunch of things we can do. One of the things that you really are going to want to do is load font. But before we get into that, let's go back to the folder you downloaded. So you should have a Photoshop file called Wanted Poster Editable and then there's also a text file called Fonts. So let's open that text file and inside that we're going to find some suggested free fonts that you can use to edit your Wanted Poster. For the 
crimes. I have the font long haired freaky people and that is on dafont.com. So we're just going to copy that URL and then open up your browser and paste it and uh, go ahead and navigate to that URL. And as you can see, there is a free font right here we can download. Go ahead and download all the free fonts that I've linked here in this text file. Then if we go back to Photopia, make sure you have the text tool selected. Go back to that dropdown and select load font. I went ahead and downloaded all of these, so I'm going to go ahead and select long haired freaky people and we're going to open that font. You can click OK or cancel, it's up to you. I'm gonna click OK. And we have long haired freaky people loaded. That means we can change the crimes right here. So when we click in, it's going to go to a default font because the font isn't recognized just yet. So if I select all, and then I do the little font drop down here, and we're going to find long haired and there we go we started searching and there it is i'm going to select that one and as you can see it is loading in properly and you can change this font or the text here i should say to anything you want for your crime i'm going to just go ahead and keep it that to uh, not waste time and then we'll go down to where it says your name so now in here we're going to select all in that font drop down, load font, and we're going to pick this one, G R O T R, which is Grot Rough. Open that, and now you can see it says your name, and it looks a lot better there. So for me, my first name is Danny, and my last name is Mick Murray. I know you can't see that, it's, it's below where you can see here, but that's, that doesn't matter right now. If you're doing a shorter name, you're going to want a different font for this because this is a very condensed font and you want one that's a little bit wider for a shorter name. So like, for instance, my name, Danny, I'm going to select that third font. So we're going to load in that third font that we downloaded, which is indubitably NF. We're going to open that. Now it's loaded. So I'll select my name, Danny, and then I'm going to search for the indubitably and there it is, indubitably NF, and there we go. So now I'm going to change the size of the font. We're gonna shrink that down a little bit. We don't want it to be that much. So here, we'll just expand the font, move the box a little bit so that it's up here. We can also expand the bottom, the bottom box here so you can see my last name. So it says Danny McMurray now, but as you can see, it is overlapping the bottom a little bit. Let's hit that little checkbox there to accept our changes. And then I'm going to select this box here that says transform controls. So if I click that, you can see a box uh, appeared over the font that I am, or the layer I should say, that I have selected over here where it has my name and then if I select one of these squares and kind of click and drag, you can see that it changes the, it, it basically we're transforming or warping, uh, resizing this layer. Now I can deselect that little transform controls. I would say these fonts that I've selected are probably the best ones. They're gonna look the best on your wanted poster, but you can load in any fonts you want to use. Next, let's move into the photograph. So over here, we have our photo layer uh, folder, and then we have a layer called replace. We can go ahead and hide it, it doesn't matter, or you can delete it. If I just go ahead and uh, minimize this a little bit, I have a photograph right here ready to go, I can click and drag that into my browser right here with Photopia open and drop it. And it will load that photo in. So now, as you can see, I've got my own photo right there. And it also has that transform box around it. So you can click and drag those arrow or the, the little squares if you want to. It's going to, as you can see, kind of warp it so you can stretch it out and make it 
just kind of warped and looking really strange. Or if you hold shift, it's going to scale uniformly. So it's not going to warp that image. And then hit the little checkbox right there and confirm. And now we have our photo in there. So the other tool we have is the move tool. Uh, that's the very top one right here that I have selected. And if we use the move tool, it's just what it says. It is moving the image around. So you can place that image wherever you want inside here. And it's just going to look like that. So that is my wanted poster for me. I hope this tutorial helped you on how to customize your wanted poster that you purchased or uh, downloaded from Patreon. You can save as a Photoshop document or you can export as a, a PDF, a PNG. There's a whole bunch of different file types. I would probably go ahead and go with PDF and that way you can print it and trim off the uh, disclaimer around the edge and you are ready to go. This DIY is gonna be really easy. So all you need to do is download and print the templates there is a little disclaimer all the way around the edges, so you wanna trim off the white space. Um, you can cut in a little bit further than the white space just to be sure it's also cut off the back. My disclaimer just got cut off because I printed this at full size. Uh, this is printed on 11 by 17 paper. Uh, you can print this on eight and a half by 11 paper as well. It'll just print smaller, basically half the size of this. If you do that, make sure you use the scale to fit option. If you're printing on 11 by 17 like I did, then you don't have to worry about scale to fit. I'll show you a tip so you can cut all these out at the same time. You can use this anytime you're printing and cutting something, several pages where they're all need to be cut to the same size. All you need to do is stack them together, line them up really good, and then you can use these little paper clamps to clamp them together, or paper clips would work too. And now, they're gonna stay together while we cut them and we can cut them all at the same time. You can use a paper cutter for this or a ruler and X-Acto knife, which is what I'm going to do. And you will have to go over it a few different times just to make sure it cuts through all the pages at once. You can sort of thumb through them or flip through them just to make sure that all the white is cut off. When everything looks good, we can take that clamp and just move it over to, to the other side to uh, make room for us to cut the top and bottom white space off. Recycle the scraps, remove the clamps, and now you have a bunch of trimmed down, nice looking uh, wanted posters. If you use the customizable template, you probably made all your own, but if you just downloaded the ones that I included here that I created, here's what you get. Benvolio the Vile, and he's wanted for grave robbing, gnome napping, and general banditry. Daphne Dorgas, wanted for broom theft and reckless werewolfism. Devin Sleazel, he's wanted for selling counterfeit IDs and paying with fool's gold. We also have the unidentified ginger witch, a mystery person. She's been up to no good. She's wanted for selling poison apples, resisting arrest, and escaping custody. Hagar the Horrible, wanted for illegal dragon breeding, burglary, and brawling. Helga Hirsch, wanted for conspiring with dark spirits and resisting arrest. Lorraine Hedge, wanted for murder by Mandrake. And last but not least, Rufus Tritt, and he's wanted for magical mischief with intent for mayhem. But just imagine what this is going to look like if it's just, you, got, you have a wall covered in wanted posters. Eventually, I will have that. I hope you guys liked this. This was so fun to put together, and I just can't wait to have a wall full of wanted posters. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video with me, you're a wizard, Harry. Give the video a thumbs up down below if you did like it, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for more Harry Potter DIYs. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.